guys. So I did a poll um, to see basically which mod video you guys wanted to see next. And the one that basically won in that poll was the first crush pack mod. Um, the second one to that was the woohoo wellness mod. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this video and then my next video will be the woohoo wellness how to mod um, windows version. Okay. So let's get right to it. So you guys will probably see two links. I try to provide you guys with the direct um, download link, but I want to support the mod creators because they put a lot of work into what they do, guys. And, um, you know, they have a site for a reason. So I try to offer the site as well, just in case you guys want to install other mods and things like that. Also, it's June 2nd. We just had a big um, mod update, technically patch day, whatever you guys want to call it, where you basically have to update your mods. So if you have any mods that are broken, that's nine times out of 10. Why? Because when we have patch days and new things come out with Sims, um, we have to update our mods. It's just a thing that we have to do. So I'm going to get straight to it, guys. So this is the site you would go to to download the first crush pack mod. Um, I want to, I really want to say her name correctly, um, but I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just going to skip that part, but you guys can see who created it. Um, I love when mod creators show pictures of where you can find access to the mod. So like you see how she says, how does it work? You have the add to Simstagram story. It's like in the phone and all that. Um, you know, she shows the pictures of what it would look like in the skill background when you have you know, your first crush. Um, she shows you the option in the phone, date types, all that stuff. Okay. So if you ever like feel like you installed a mod and you're not really sure where to go or what to click on or how to access it, always go back to the website and check the pictures. They let you know a lot. Okay. I always tell you guys, you're going to scroll to the bottom at the bottom is where you will always see the download options. Okay. Um, it also lets you know mod requirements. We should open that up real quick. Let me see. So it says preteen mod base. You might need this. I'm not even going to lie, guys. We might need to. Um, this is the same as Kawi Stacy. Um, you know, for certain mods, you have to have like a base pack downloaded, okay? Which is not anything to freak out of. It's just the way that the creator created the mod. And without it, you probably would deal with complications, okay? So uh, it says compatibility is education overhaul, fully compatible, fine, mod conflicts, Zerboos get to school. And then she has this pop up that says, want to support me? If you become a Patreon, you can help me to continue making mods and also run this website. Become a Patreon. Patreon also comes with benefits such as mod requests, priority and early beta access to mods. OK, so if you guys want to support her, feel free to do that. Um, so here's a download for the base guys, and this is the add on packs that she has. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the base version first. Okay. You guys can always look at the versions. Like if you deal with any complications with your downloading process, always check like what, you know, uh, version you're downloading could, it may or may not be updated. Those kind of things you want to take into account. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and click the download button now. Okay, so this is a preteen base mod, which is pretty cool. I'm not even gonna lie. All right, so like I always say, you guys can feel free to read through this. It lets you know when the last updates were and all that good juicy stuff. Okay, uh, see, like May 2nd, 2022, fixed bugs and made changes for the first crush pack. Okay, yay, so fun, right? All right, so we're gonna click the button. The button, okay, that is the base, okay? And then we're gonna go back over to the preteen mod, right? first crush we're not going to go to the base we're going to go to the pack because that's what we're here for right i'm going to click the download button she brings you to her patreon yet again you scroll to the bottom okay and there you are there's the preteen first crush package so we're going to download that too as well yeah yeah download now sometimes <laughs> what happens guys is just like i downloaded that right it says mod requirements are preteen base so if you guys do not download that base it is not going to work i'm letting you know right now okay uh recommended packs is snowy escape so if you don't have that expansion pack you should get it um and uh stuff packs is parenthood so you should get that one too if you want this you know mod to if you want to be able to fully access what's involved in the mod that's what i was trying to say okay so back to what i was saying as you can see down here there's a zip file and there's a page file okay there's a difference okay so depending on how you are when it comes to downloading mods if you're completely new 
this probably doesn't apply to you. But if you are not completely new and you have downloaded other mods, keep into account that if a page is downloaded, you can just feel free to just put it in your mods folder or you can put it inside of a folder to organize it. It is entirely your choice, okay? I'm also using Windows with this recording, guys, but it does apply to Mac as well. So do not freak out if you're like, oh my gosh, what do I do? You know, you literally, you're just going to go to Finder if you have a Mac. And for Windows, you're going to click on your folder, Explorer thingy. <laughs> you're going to click on Downloads so you can access what you just recently downloaded, which is here. Look at the juicy stuff, okay? And then you're going to right-click, okay? You guys would right-click on Finder or whatever um, if you have Mac. And then you're going to click File Explorer. And then you're going to go to Documents. Same thing if you have Mac. You're going to go to Finder. You're going to click on Documents. And then you're going to click on Elect electronic arts okay guys this is an important part this is sims 4 okay now i say that this is important because a lot of people have asked me like where is the local thumb cache i do not know where it is where do i find it it is going to be in the sims 4 folder folder so it's right here if you have windows you are going to delete that okay if you have um mac you're going to drag it to the trash okay Simple as that. You do not do it every time that you play the game. You only do it when you're installing mods or updating mods. So we're going to open up the mods folder. Once you do that, if you are not brand new to installing mods, you're going to see a whole bunch of other mod folders. If you are brand new, the only thing you're going to see in this folder is resource CFG. Okay. Once you have accessed your mods folder, you're going to go back to that downloads folder that you opened with your file explorer. And you're going to double click if you have finder you know macbook you're going to double click and it'll automatically open it or you can just right click if you have windows and extract all okay it's different for everybody's computer yours might just say extract the other one might say extract all you might have two options do whatever makes you comfortable click extract and then you will see the folder pops up it shows you the documents the ts4 script in there it shows you the base oh wow does it actually have the base package in here Oh, wait, no, I'm I'm doing the preteen base, guys. Sorry, I, I totally fumbled the ball there. <laughs> okay, so anyway, this is the base package. Um, So yeah, you will see the base package. You will see the TS4 script and the custom content, okay? um, That is perfectly fine. Leave it the way it is. It just opened the folder so we can see what's inside, okay? So that folder that was open, it shows it right here. It no longer has a zip on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag that inside of the mods folder. Now you see it. It says it's Katato. Katato. Oh my God. I hope I'm not murdering her name. Anyway, preteen base. Okay. So that's the base that we were looking for. We can open it to check. There we go. Two documents and the custom content. Okay. Bada bing, bada bam. Okay. Now the first crush package, you guys have a choice. Like I said, you can go into the mods folder and literally click on new open a folder to organize things better, call it the preteen first crush package and put it inside that folder. Or you can literally just drag and drop it into your mods folder. It is entirely your choice. I only have a certain amount of documents that I don't put in folders just because the heck of it. It's only one page. It's not that confusing. And I just throw it in my mods folder. It's not disorganized. It's just how I handle things. Okay. And for example, that's my columns, you know, that you guys can see right here. Um, so yeah, there you go. That is how you put in the crush package. That is how you put in the base package. So everything kind of comes together and works properly. And then, you know, you go ahead and go into your game. Always make sure that your mods are enabled in your game options. If you do not know how to do that, um, all you have to do is click on the origin, go to your settings. Um, it will say game options, and then you enable script mods, and then you enable um, uh, the other mods. That it, the other mod options. Sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, and that's how you do it. And you know, if you ever wonder like, okay, what does it look like in the game? Da, 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 da. How do I use this? All you have to do is just go back to her website, which is First Crush Pack. And she shows you how to access everything. Just read through it. She shows you what the pictures look like and so forth and so forth. So I will have these links um, in the description. Um, so you guys can get to it right away and you can download this mod and feel free to join her Patreon. You'll get early access when she updates and things like that, which is all cool and handy dandy. Okay. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoy this mod as well. 
um, hearing a lot of positive reviews about it. If you guys did enjoy this video, like it, comment what your experience is installing mods. I hope that it is wonderful. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I also have a discord that I will list in my description. So you guys can feel free to add yourselves to that because sometimes I get to my discord messages quicker than I get to my YouTube comments. So if you guys want to, you can always feel free to message me on there on discord in our Sims 4 channel. Um, we have one dedicated to Sims 4 mods and you can ask whatever questions you're going through and we would try our best to help you, okay? So feel free to add yourself in that and sub to the channel. If you are a reoccurring subscribe, um, subscriber, I'm glad that you guys are here and I'm glad that you continue to um, support this channel and I'm sending you guys a whole bunch of love. I hope that you guys enjoy this mod and you guys have a wonderful rest of the day.